What is going on guys? We're watching to bring us a brand new episode of Washington Station, the best station for Washington football nation. Now we are going to be talking about our loss versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the Super Wild Card Weekend round. Uh, it's not a sad loss. Um, I mean, yeah, there's a sadness that comes to it because obviously we made it in the playoffs. You know, once you're there, you really want to be successful and you really want to see your team thrive. But we are playing a very good team. And going into it, we knew that this game might not go as we wanted to. So I just wanted to see a good game from our guys, especially when we heard Taylor Heineke was going to start. But speaking of Taylor Heineke, as Chase Young says, how about Taylor Heineke? I had to do it once. I don't know if I did it 100% perfect, but, you know, I had to get it once in there. But uh, he played lights out. You couldn't ask for anything more. It's the most fun I've had watching a quarterback for us play in so long. Look, every time one of our quarterback throws out of the uh, camera frame, I hold my breath because I'm like, who knows what's going to happen with this ball. But Saturday night was the first time I've been able to watch a quarterback do that for us. And I was actually able to not hold my breath and actually feel at ease because he his decision making was amazing. His pocket awareness was perfect. I mean, the guy played lights out. He played his heart out. He separated. He had an AC joint separation and went to the locker room, came back into the game and threw a touchdown pass and, and put us on the spot to possibly win the game. You can't ask for anything more out of a QB that was told that day, hey, you're starting. I hope we do. Um, I'll make a video on Taylor Heineke. I'll get into more what my plan is for the next couple months with Washington Station uh, Friday. I'll talk more about that Friday. But uh, I do believe we should give him a shot. One game is not enough to determine if he's a starting caliber quarterback. No, of course not. But he deserves the opportunity. He put enough out there Saturday night to where it's like, you know what? You showed us that you have heart and that you have some very good pocket awareness, decision-making, mobility. So we need to give him a shot. And I think Ron is all for it. Taylor's all for it. So I think it's it goes without saying that uh, Taylor Heineke will have a roster spot come training camp. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to – Speaking of training camp, I hopefully we will all be able to attend training camp this year. Fingers crossed. So, let's talk about the game. The amount of targets Brady has is endless. I mean, you saw them all on, uh, you saw them all in full action Saturday night. You had Gronk, you had Cameron Brady, you had Scotty Miller, Antonio Brown, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin. And if that's not Mike Evans at full health, then I don't even want to know what he would look like at full health against us. But, you know, our defense did not play as well as they have been all season. And it, and it was kind of like head-scratching. It's like, what's going on here? And, um, you know, Chase Young went down late in the fourth. It was, it was sloppy from our defense. There were times they played excellent. Most of the second half, they played really good. I think there was a point where they were on the field so much because our offense was actually like quick either scoring or getting off the field on fourth down that the defense didn't spend a whole lot of time off. So I get you're getting tired. I get it. But this is a playoff game. You are expected to play your full ability the full 60 minutes. No excuses. So when it, can't, when it comes to that, I'm like, okay, I'll give you a, the benefit of a doubt, but come on, this is not the team we have seen um, – you know, trashing offenses all season. Uh, Montez Sweat had a couple good plays. Um, it was it was a hard, it was a fun game to watch. It was a fun loss, probably one of the most um, fun I've had watching a loss. And I was completely fine with it because I'm like, look, we're seven and nine. We've had the season we've had, but look at what this sets up for the future. The amount of positivity and the amount of things to be excited for that that game brought, and the whole season, but especially that game, it's just endless. You know, we're going into the off season. one of my favorite times of the year, where you have free agency, the re-sign period, the draft. This is, this is really when you get excited to watch football because you're like, oh, man, look at all these guys we got. I can't wait to go and see them compete. And that's how it's going to be. 
Uh, I'm excited for this season. We got, unless the salary cap changes, which is entirely possible due to uh, COVID-19, um, we are expected to have a good amount of salary cap and expect us to pursue a QB1. Ron Rivera will be meeting with Dan Snyder either uh, probably around today discussing the general manager and our next QB1 and what direction we want to go in for both of those. So obviously... Uh, there's going to be a lot of conversations going on about do we do we give Heineke a shot? Is Alex going to stay? Do we go after a QB1 for a trade? Do we wait to see who his free agency? Do we go in the draft? It's all these questions that are going to come up. And after last night, I think Taylor Heineke deserves a look. I'm not saying he deserves the QB1 spot. I'm not saying that at all. If anyone said it right now, I would laugh in your face because, I mean, that's idiotic. But he has a shot. You give him the opportunity. He just does not have it locked up. If Alex Smith comes back, then I would expect him to be QB1. He's going to, he said he's going to take a couple weeks to decide if he's going to play or not. And, uh, you know, it's all about it was all about getting back here for him. Not necessarily about the outcome. It was just proving to him and his family that he could come back. And I don't know if he's going to come back. I'm all for it if he is. If he's if he's going to play 100%. If he's not going to be 100%, then don't come back. But um, I believe if there's any QB on this roster that is on the roster next season, it will be Taylor Heineke and Kyle Allen because I'm pretty sure Ron Rivera is going to bring him back because he loves him some Kyle Allen. I don't see it, but if he sees it, I tr- uh, and Ron, we trust. So... Yeah, I didn't want to talk a whole much about the game because, I mean, it's pretty much what it was, you know. One thing was stupid penalties. Um, that Brandon Sheriff holding penalty, I saw nothing there. The missed, offensive, uh, the missed defensive pass interference when they hit Cam Sims before the ball got there. A lot of drop balls, especially by Cam Sims early in the game. He picked it up. He made up for it. He really had some good plays. Terry played good. Logan Thomas played good. Everybody played really good. Um, the running game, we just couldn't get it going. I think that's what really kept us from winning was the inability to really run the ball because that's what we really like to do. And um, they had the number one run defense in the league. So, I mean, what do you expect? So, you know, it is what it is. You know, we move forward. And uh, we had a great season. We're division champions. We're reigning. So, let's, let's run it back because the offseason starts now. It's already started. We're two days into it. We're two days into a, what, seven-month process, and then training camp rolls in. So there's tons of things to be excited for if you're a Washington fan. Do not get saddened by this loss. I've, I've never seen Washington fans so happy after a loss, and it's just amazing to see because this culture has changed, not only on the team but the fans. The culture within the fans have changed. Now I just hope that this culture change amongst the fans can roll off into next season and we'll actually see some – real Washington fans in the stands and not be outnumbered by the opposing team. What will be the Washington football team next year? Who knows? Uh, if you've been watching the show for a while, you know my pick is that we become the Red Wolves. I think there's so much opportunity there. I'll get it. I'm going to make a video. Look, Washington Station, I said it's going to take a hiatus. I'll go ahead and say this. I was going to wait till Friday, but I'm just going to say it now. I'll say it again Friday. I said I was going to take a hiatus after Washington Station ended once our season ended. That's true to an extent. I will not be making these super long form videos. At least I don't intend to. Which one, um, Friday will be the last one where I do an overview of the whole season. But you will see smaller videos start popping up where I'm talking about maybe like one player in particular. What I liked and what I think we should do going forward. And that's essentially what the video is going to be. Hopefully no more than about five minutes per episode. And... It's not 100% that I'm going to do it, but I'm really looking at doing a spinoff of Washington Station that will premiere later this month or early next month, which is NFL Station, where I'm going to be covering NFL news, not just Washington news, but NFL news. So with that, you know, that's really bundling up my upload schedule. So here's another announcement. This is all, like I said before, this is not a final thing. It also depends on how fast I'm uploading other types of videos while I'm at Liberty. My schedule change could become different. There will be the Monday, Wednesday, Friday uploads like like written in stone. 
but there could be everyday uploads. It's a possibility. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but I want to talk more about the NFL this off season. And but I don't want that to be the only thing on my channel. So I want to uh, have a much more diverse content this year. So when talking about the NFL in Washington, these videos could pop up on non-upload days, just because I really want to roll some some of my opinions out and not clog up, you know, covers or the film room or any other thing that I'm going to be doing this year. So that's just a little nugget going forward for this year and on forward that um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday are my upload days, but you can see anything any day of the week. The only days you will not see anything is Saturday and Sunday. There are, those are my days off from uploading. Those are my days off. So there's that. So thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for watching today's video make sure to subscribe if you haven't already make sure to hit that bell button to so be notified every single time i upload a brand new episode of washington station make sure to like this video if you enjoyed make sure to comment your thoughts down below make sure to check out all the links down below and you know what we lost 31 to 23 but there's a lot to be excited for so let's go washington let's get behind this team and let's show this team that we support them and that we're ready for this next season all right and best of luck to tom brady and the buccaneers going forward they deserve it they earned it let's so let's see if he goes and gets his seventh ring who knows all right i'll catch y'all later i'm a morse and i'm out